Hi guys. Some telemarketer called and I forgot to put my phone on mute. My ringer, I mean. What it looks like out there. Sorry, that was my pillow. <sighs> so, <clears throat> what is that? Oh. YouTube notifications and stuff like that. Uh, I cord it. Oh man. Oh. Damn things. Oh, God, that's so gross. All right, I'm gonna get myself dressed here. Find something to wear. Mm. What they reveal will haunt them forever. You can see that Jeff, a six foot two man, by 215 pounds, something has wrapped itself around his neck and it's pulling up against him up against the rafter. And yet, there was no one there. It was Jeff and Gary. And he cut him down, he had a rope around his neck, and we killed him. The question is, there was no one else there, so what? Try to kill him. How and why? Something had tried to murder Jeff Wheatcraft. Structured so much yet into a belief system and into a, a task-driven day-to-day routine that gives us tunnel vision as adults. Uh, as children, they still have a wider awareness and perception of what's around them and the willingness to acknowledge honestly what they see. Good pay and other children like are really be able to see into the infrared world of ghosts. She have a sixth sense. Or say just a needy kid who wanted her mother's attention. I guess I wasn't hungry all day yet, but I'm gonna um, eat that macaroni and cheese with bacon and chicken, what I've shown you in a few other videos, so it's in the microwave right now. Um, so yeah, <sighs> I'm gonna work on some another video. And then I'll see how I feel after I'm done eating, and then I'll, uh, take care of that pile right there. Kids can change minds. 
minds. They can even change the world around us. Packed with protein with 21 vitamins and minerals, we nourish them with Carnation Breakfast Essentials. Because today could change everything. On the evening of the 25th, during our canvas of the area, I was driving about 25 minutes outside of Armada when I noticed a motorcycle parked down in a driveway, very similar to the type of bike that's being described by some witnesses. My mind started wondering, could that possibly be this motorcycle? What would be the odds of that? I ran the license. Spread them out on the table, and suddenly there was a picture of an attractive young woman standing at the very edge of the Grand Canyon, and one of them just said, Catherine. Hi. Hi. I immediately took a photograph to the sheriff's office, and they made copies. We had a face of Catherine. And the fact that she just seemed to disappear into thin air um, kind of made it seem more apt that she was going to be Boulder Jane Doe.
father doesn't want us spending time together. He's not the boss of me. But he's your father. And he cares about you, and you need to show him respect. I'm serious, Walt. You're not to come to me anymore. Damn it! What is wrong with you? I was just coming to I told you to stay away from my son! He didn't! I was just well, I don't want to hear from you. I was just giving him this. That's all to give to you. I thought you could use it. Consider it a, a peace offering. Doctor, whatever, because this is eye drops are not working. None of the eye drops seem to be working. It seems like it's like you know you push the liquid eye drops in there, and it like flushes the discharge mucus thing away, and and it's like it, it sits in the eyelid bottom right there, and that's where I have to pick them out. I don't rub them. I go like that. So, and they are still there, and it's, like, so annoying. I just can't keep doing this every All right. Day. I'm feeling pretty tired, and I don't know how long I'm going to stay up for. And I'm waiting to poop, and then I'm going to have something like this. Because the last time I ate was at around 1. So, I'm going to wait to poop, and, yeah. So... It's not funny. I am exhausted. I'm going to put you back on this big stand now and do another hyperlap for a little bit, okay? This is what it will be I like to show you what my night is and my day is like every once in a while. So... There you go.
All right.
Yeah, you guys. Um, I'm gonna start getting ready for bed. So, I'm reaching for the cord. My phone is dying at 15% battery life now. Tangled on something. Okay. <clears throat> there we go. Now it's plugged in. So. Yep. I don't know what the hell is with my tiredness. I just, I'm pretty confused with it. So, I'm gonna just get ready for bed now and, um, sleep all the way through and I'm going to make sure my ringer is turned off and my notifications are turned off so that I don't um, wake up or anything in the middle of the night or whatever. You know what I mean? Alright. Sorry about this dull day. cloudy winter afternoon in San Luis Obispo, and I'm retracing missing Cal Poly student Kristen Smart last step. Although he had never investigated before, he actually quit his job to focus on the podcast and began by collecting articles and documents about the case, chasing down leads and interviewing people who police might have overlooked. I didn't know the scale. I didn't know how many people were going to listen, but I knew that I could try to do a small part. At the time, he had no idea that his part would go a long way in helping to bring the case to a close. His podcast ended up capturing the attention of millions of listeners and sparked a new interest in Kristen's case. Several women even started... Pitbull with with me always. My Jack Hokey. And gentle. Shh, don't tell anyone. Guardian. Max. Clear sky. Stars had a little twinkle. As I was walking, I saw a blue shimmer in the distance. Remember, this is a proper residential neighborhood, and gated too. At first, I thought it was a streetlight that had a bad bulb, or maybe was switched for one of those terrible white LEDs. But as I got closer, I could see it was a floating ball or orb. It had a blue hue, slightly white towards the middle. The ball of light was about the size of a baseball, I think. I wasn't getting very close to it, almost a street length away.
Thank <laughs> you. 